Okay, I kind of figured that someone would find this kind of cool. So what we're going to try to do is fix DJ's truck with a 3D printed part. So currently his truck, or all Dodge Dakotas, have a triple bolt pattern. So there's one there, one there, and one there, and one is slightly offset. Normal stereo radios come with a four, you know, caddy corner. So every 90 degrees there is a hole. Well, that doesn't work like that, obviously, because it's from a tri pattern to a four pattern, and the four pattern is slightly smaller. I think this one's a six by nine, and this is a six inch, just straight up. I can't remember exactly specs. I frankly don't care, but we're gonna figure this out. So the idea is, this is an adapter ring I printed off. I already printed off a prototype a couple weeks ago. Make sure that the it would work correctly. I printed that one in PLA, which is a real brittle plastic, but it's really easy and cheap to make. This is PETG. This is rated for inside temperatures of like 180 degrees Fahrenheit or above, and so it should be good for it. This is the PLA one, which over time would warp and break from the heat. Like this stuff will, if you put up against a flame of like 130 degrees even, it'll start melting. That thing is like ABS plastic, basically. Like it's pretty stiff. <clears throat> well, resilient, I guess. Now, what we should be able to do is take this ring and see if four of these holes should line up. Kind of hard to see through the camera. There's one, there's two. So there's one, two, three, four. Now, we've already done one side just to make sure this all works. Like I said, he had the prototype on it. And what we did is, you see that hole there, we tapped it. So we tap the hole on the radio, and we tap the hole on this after we get this bolted in. And when we get to that point, we'll show you, because he's currently taking the door off. And if you don't know how to take the door off, just carefully take the door off. <laughs> like, it's not hard. All right. So DJ has the ring on. Here's the offset one, and there's the normal two. And these were self-tapping bolts, but any bolt that threads into the hole there will work. And then he's just tapping the plastic ring with Harbor Freight tap and tap that. And so when you put the bolt in, it'll thread through that and then through the plastic. Surprisingly, it's a pretty secure fit. And here's the final install. Much cleaner. And then now that there's a plastic ring behind it, it'll actually dampen the see so it doesn't even move at all. But before, because the metal ring was directly up against the metal, if there was a high base situation, they would actually rattle against the metal and it was kind of cockeyed because they had random screws in different spots. So now there's actually, I guess you call it like a damper from the plastic ring, so it can actually damper the vibrations going into the door, along with it's now got a cleaner sound from not getting halfway absorbed into this. So much cleaner, looks a lot cooler. Should function a lot better that way. So here's the other door, looks clean. And you can see the door just showed off right there. Looks pretty pimp. So no more vibration than doors issue. Show pretty good. Very good. 3D printer to this save in the day. Yeah. Now I gotta figure out what else on here we can replace the 3D printer. <laughs> Everything.